Hello, my name is Dave Schwarm and I'm the Customer Service Manager here at Green Meadow Lawn Care. Today I want to talk to you about getting rid of moles in your yard. Over my 29 years in the lawn care industry, as a licensed lawn supervisor, I've heard many stories and seen many strategies used to control moles. Filling the tunnels with gum, hair, rose shards, glass, gummy worms, gas tablets, mothballs, castor oil pellets, etc. All can work, but to truly understand the effective strategies, you need to understand the mole. Here's a list of the seven things you need to know to become a successful mole hunter. Number one, what is the mole's diet? Mostly insects, grubs, beetle larvae, and earthworms. They must eat 70 to 100% of their body weight each day to have enough energy to burrow. Occasionally, they'll eat seeds, roots, and bulbs. Number two, how much tunneling can one mole do? Many people believe that there's a mole in every tunnel they see. The good news is, even though you may see dozens of tunnels, there are probably only a few moles in the yard, possibly only one or two. Moles dig fast, about 18 feet per hour. They may be able to tunnel 100 feet a day or more depending on soil conditions. You may think your lawn is full of moles when it's just the home of a very few busy little guys. Number three, how do I scout the mole tunnel for the most active ones? Here's a few ways. Make holes with a stick in the tunnel. Mark with a flag. Check it the next day. If the mole fixed it, it's an active tunnel. See, they don't like sunlight. Roll down the tunnels. The tunnels that pop back up, they're active. Number four, what do I need to know about trapping moles? Trap it in the spring or the fall when the soil is moist and the moles are closer to the surface. Or if the lawn is so dug up that you can't tell the feeder tunnels from the travel tunnels, roll or walk it flat. Flag the area so you can find it easily, then watch for a few days. If the flattened area is raised again, you're looking at active runs. Or set multiple traps. If you can't choose between locations, set traps in both. Or you can set in different locations. The best is an active travel tunnel that extends into the wooded areas. A good, air, a good spot is an active travel tunnel or a mole hill. Questionable areas, watch out for the feeding tunnels. Uh, the moles may not return to them. Number five, how do I use gel worms to kill moles? The best gel baits come shaped like worms and have the active ingredient bromethylene, sold under the trade names Talprid and Tomcat. This is a newer product with mixed results. For the best results with those products, scout for the most active tunnels and use your baits there. Always handle with rubber gloves to avoid scent transfer. Also, this product is very to toxic. If you have pets or children, this may not be the strategy for you. Number six, what control strategies don't work particularly well on moles? Certain baits and devices, chewing gum, mothballs, thumpers, ultrasonics, flooding the tunnels, grain baits. They don't work well because moles don't normally eat grain. If you're gonna try baits, use rubber gloves. Moles have a great sense of smell. They don't want anything to do with you. Grub treatments. They may get rid of grubs in your lawn, but there will still be plenty of worms for the moles to eat. Remember, grub control is not mole control. Number seven, why do so many people think I have a grub problem? Because I have moles. In recent years, the EPA has removed many different insecticides from the markets that were reducing earthworm populations. In the past, these products would dramatically de decrease the food source for moles and drive them away. Today's products 
control grubs and insects without killing earthworks, earthworms. So moles have to scout your yard much more aggressively to feed, thus many more tunnels. Here's the bottom line. Persistence overcomes resistance. If you're going to tackle the mole problem yourself, be persistent. If you are going to hire a professional, hire someone you trust. Referrals from friends, families, or neighbors are usually the best ways to avoid getting taken advantage of. Also, check those reviews. Until we meet again, my name is Dave Schwarm. I'm the Customer Service Manager here at Green Meadow Lawn Care. Thank you.